We're given piecewise function g of x that is continuous and differentiable at x equals 1 half. We want to see what the value of b is. So let's start off with continuity. In order for the function to be continuous, the limit at x equals 1 half has to equal the value at x equals 1 half. And for the limit to exist, the left-hand limit has to equal the right-hand limit. So when I'm looking at the left-hand limit, I'm looking at values to the left of, or less than 1 half. So that's going to be the function at the top here. If I plug in x equals 1 half, I'm left with pi over 4a plus b. And notice that inverse tangent of 1 is equal to pi over 4. So that's how I got that. And this also happens to be g of 1 half since this top function is defined at x equals 1 half. Now let's solve for the right hand limit. We're looking at values greater than 1 half. So we're going to use a function e to the 2x minus 1. Plugging in 1 half we get e minus 1. And so we want to set these two equal to each other. But the problem is we have two unknowns. And that means that we need to have two equations. So the other equation is going to come from the function being differentiable at x equals 1 half. Okay, so in order for the function to be differentiable at x equals 1 half, the left-hand derivative has to equal the right-hand derivative. The left-hand derivative will use the top function for it, and we'll get 2a over 1 plus 4x squared. The way I got that is, well, the derivative of inverse tangent of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So the derivative of inverse tangent of 2x will just be 1 over 1 plus 2x quantity squared times chain rule times 2, which is 2 over 1 plus 4x squared. And then since we have the a in front, just don't forget to multiply by a. The derivative of e to the 2x minus 1 is 2e to the 2x. Now this is differentiable at x equals 1 half. So let's plug in x equals 1 half. On the left here, we'll be left with 2a over 2, which is just a. And on the right is just 2e. So we found 2e to be 5.437, about. Now we said uh, pi over 4a plus b equals e minus 1 from the previous slide. So substitute a equals 2e. And then pi over 4 times 2e is just pi over 2e solve for b and get that b is about negative 2.552 and that is our answer.